What Happens Next in Israel, Part 26. Some may mockingly ask, who uses horses in the modern world, and why would they be used in Yerushalayim? This photo shows that the government of Israel has recently used horses to suppress the demonstrations of ultra-Orthodox Jews in Yerushalayim. After an interval of 45 days, the 1,335 days of Daniel 1212 minus the 1,290 days of Daniel 1211 equals the 45 days during which the Jews, unworthy of messianic glory, die out. Compare the similar statement in reference to the liberation from Egypt found already in the old Haggadah. And the remnant have shown their true worth in sore trials and bitter sufferings in the desert, whither they have fled, Basra Petra area, Michael will blow his trumpet. Then the Messiah and Elijah will appear, gather the dispersed of Israel, and proceed to Jerusalem, armless, inflamed against the Jews, will march against the Messiah. But now God himself will war against Armelus and his army and destroy them. For Messiah, as one version has it, will slay Armelus by the breath of his mouth. Compare this to Revelation 19.21, which sword proceedeth out of his mouth? The sword of Moshiach. Horse bridles are four feet high. The angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse's bridles. By the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs, the exact distance of sixteen hundred furlongs equals the distance of 183 miles. This is the exact distance from the modern valley of Jezreel to Petra. This is no mere coincidence. We know that one part of this pool of blood will be in the valley of Jehoshaphat, between the Mount of Olives and the city of Jerusalem. The map below will show the approximate location of the rest of the blood. The black line is 183 miles long, and this is the exact distance from the modern valley of Jezreel to Petra, near Basra. This is the same distance as the 1600 furlongs in Revelation 14.20. Even the beast reinforcements for the siege of Jerusalem that are coming down from Jezreel will be destroyed by Moshiach soon after he breaks the siege of Jerusalem. The trail of blood will extend to modern Megiddo. The Battle Hymn of the Republic, also known as Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory. Jesus, in a vesture dipped in blood, Revelation 19, 13. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. I have trodden the winepress, Isaiah 63, 2. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. Revelation 19.15 Out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. His truth is marching on. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, the fate of the armies of the beast. When they have been purified by sorrow and pain, the Messiah will appear, wrest Jerusalem from Armelus, slay him, and thereby bring the true salvation, Zadia. The birds will be ready, and the beast was taken with him, the false prophet, and they were cast alive into the lake of fire. Armageddon is just the gathering place of Revelation 16.16. The battle of Jerusalem, not Armageddon, won by the sword of the Lord. How will Moshiach rule? Find out in what happens next in Israel, part 27. For more information and ways that you can help us blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm, 
you may contact us, Pathway to Heaven, by email, shlomo1335 at gmail.com. Ask for Shlomo. You may like us on Facebook or comment on Twitter or Tumblr. I'm Yisrael Pye.